world is shifting and becoming anchored in information technology. Systems are moving from being paper-based to being electronic. Businesses are constantly competing with each other, wanting to know what their competitors are up to. With the growth of IT, they are leveraging its power to spy and access information unlawfully. Cybersecurity experts such as Angel Shorzy have the capability to provide clients with defensive strategies to prevent them from becoming victims of such cyber incidents. As a software developer in this environment, she is also responsible for creating the graphical user interface of these systems and she has to ensure that she finds a balance between making a difficult solution easy to use, function optimally and look appealing in order to keep the user engaged. My typical work um, involves um, speaking to the client. The client will let us know um, what problems that they have and we will take those problems or ideas that they have and we'll um, turn them into software solutions. What gives me curious satisfaction is being in an environment like the CSIR, having to interact with um, experts in the cybersecurity field and also being a software developer and um, being involved in research. The one project that we are currently working on is the Cybersecurity Awareness Initiative. So there, what we're trying to do is educate South Africa as a whole on um, cybersecurity awareness. So I think that is the one project um, that is making a difference in South African people's lives because we are trying to educate them about how to be safe um, when they're using the internet or how to keep the phone safe, how to keep the data safe. Anything around cybersecurity is what um, we are trying to address. So I feel like we are um, contributing and impacting on South Africa in that way. There are a number of cybersecurity threats. Um, any device which is able to connect into the internet um, is vulnerable to being exposed to the viruses, worms, etc. For example, um, if you maybe use your phone to access a certain site and you happen to download a PDF or a music file or a video, if there is malware or virus associated with that, your phone will be vulnerable. This even extends to devices in our homes because as we know now that um, devices in our homes are getting smarter. We have fridges that can connect to the internet, we have um, even toilets actually that can connect to the internet. So if anything is able to connect to the internet and interact with other devices out there, it is vulnerable to be um, targeted. If you want to be a software developer, I would say you need to be someone who's a logical thinker, um, someone who can take a problem, break it down into you know, smaller components that you can be able to um, solve. You also need to be a hard worker because sometimes you can sit the whole day with just one bug and you can't even you know, figure it out. So you need to be someone who's a hard worker, someone who's determined and just someone who keeps on um, persevering on regardless of what um, problems you actually encounter. Also, um, you need to be someone who is very innovative because um, when working on maybe a web application or a mobile application, it's not only the code that, it's, that is um, important. We we'll also have to work on the graphical user interface side where we have to make um, things look pretty and make um, things more usable. So you also need to be quite innovative when it comes to that because you need to know, you know what is the right layout for certain things on a screen to make it more usable for someone. So starting from high school, you will need to take computer-related courses such as computer studies, which will help you know all the hardware components of a computer, also to understand the software side. You can also maybe take computer typing as well, which is just going to help you with maybe increasing your typing speed. And then in university, you would need to study either information technology or computer science or computer engineering. These courses are offered in most universities. What I enjoy the most about working at the CSIR is that I get to work with very intelligent people. So if I do encounter problems, I do have cybersecurity experts you know, right next door that are able to help me out. Also, the CSIR is an environment you know, that encourages you or persuades you to carry on with your studies. So if you want to do your masters, your PhD, it's an environment that is very encouraging towards your studies.